So, welcome to my world, because I live in Chicago and work out here. Oh, you do the commute? I do the commute. How's the drive from here to there? I'm just going to warn you when you're on the Kennedy, just anything you can do to not lose your mind will be helpful. It is, <laughs> it's a nightmare. But then you're from L.A. I mean, yeah, yeah. this is just a cake. Oh, yeah, I'm just like zen out when I get in the car. It's like pretty much a time to do nothing and not be stressed, you know? Well, we appreciate you taking time here in McHenry County and doing a live show for Turning Point. So, now I heard you. Yeah, so thank you. Good audience here. I heard you, Joe and Tina talking to you. Of course, uh, people remember you from One Tree Hill and Walk the Line. And, and how you were ready to pass on Walk the Line because you saw there were a lot of lines in it. There's more acting. Yeah. But, I mean, you were so good. So, what happened? Did you, were you just finding yourself to be a natural actor? Or did you get some coaching? What you know, I, love, I loved acting when I was younger, and I was always in theater um, class, and I, I always did it at school, and I, I, I just loved doing it, but I never really thought about it as a career. I just always thought I was just going to do music, um, and my family were all musicians, and I started playing music when I was younger, so I just thought acting was kind of a hobby for me. Um, and then, so when the movie came up, I thought, no way I can do this for real. I mean, I, I guess I know how to act, but it's just amateur stuff. It's not like a movie with like Walking Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon. So when I got the part, and they finally convinced me um, that I could do it. I, you know, I just couldn't believe it. I was on set going, come on. Someone's going to tap me on the shoulder and be like, hey, bro, this is for pros. you got to go. You know? But Tyler Elgin with us here at Star 5.5, taking a stand for Turning Point in front of the Sam's Club off Route 14 in Crystal Lake. So when you were a kid, then it was your dream was to be a musician, not, a, not an actor. Yeah, you know, like I wanted to, I wanted to be Elvis when I was a kid. I just thought he was so cool, and I, I loved um, playing music and all. I love the blues and I love country music, and he was the one artist that kind of did both so well. And so that was the other thing when that role came up. I was like, I can't play him. Like, you know, just not not the first thing I do. You can't ask me to play my hero. I mean, it's way too much pressure. Um, so I didn't even know that people liked it until after the movie, people like you did a good job. And I was like, really? Don't mess with me, because I'll really <laughs> take that seriously. But everyone says it was cool, so, you know, what a relief for me. You know? You're doing a show tonight at House of Blues with Ryan Cabrera, and you always hear artists talk about when they're touring with someone, they don't really spend a lot of time together, they don't really see each other's sets. Do you guys ever catch each other's shows, or maybe just a high five? Oh, yeah, no, know? we see each other all the time. I mean, the level we're touring at, um, this tour, uh, we started doing acoustic tours together, which is really fun and kind of something you can do between bigger tours, and it's so much more casual, and we're both, we both just have like one buddy with us driving around in rental cars, usually eating dinner together, like hanging backstage, playing on each other's set, so it's real casual. It's like a living room jam kind of every night, which is cool. Are you enjoying your time in uh, Crystal Lake here, McHenry County? Nice day at the Holiday Inn, or...? Yeah, and uh, and I don't know if the whole town smells like baked goods or it's just a parking lot, but the town has like a fried food aroma, which I love. Yeah, you Maybe you take a shower here, you get that aroma. <laughs> right. Well, we can't thank you enough for coming by here. This uh, means a lot to us. We do it every year. We're with Tyler Hilton here in front of the Sam's Club in Crystal Lake. We're taking a stand for Turning Point, and Turning Point is the one safe haven for women and children in the area who are victims of domestic violence. It's the one place they can go to not feel ashamed or embarrassed, come forward and they'll get the help there. And they stay open from our donations. So the fact that you are here today doing this free concert, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. Thanks, and thanks everyone for coming too. It was fun to play for everyone. And really cool. Um, I think everyone enjoyed the show, it looks like. All right. Tyler Hilton here with Star 5.5. We're taking a stand for Turning Point. Please come join us. Come by and make a donation in front of the Sam's Club in Crystal Lake off Route 14 with Star 5.5. Radio Department, thanks for watching.